Did you know that bacon lovers consume over 1.1 billion pounds of bacon every year in the U.S. alone? <laughs> oh, yeah. Now imagine going on a cruise and finding out there's no bacon available. Sounds crazy, right? Today we're diving into the wide world of carnival cruises and their unexpected decision concerning bacon. But first, if you like what you see on the channel, I would like to invite you to like and subscribe. It's free for you and it helps out us greatly. We definitely appreciate your support. Well, that's right. This decision has really stirred the pot among cruise goers, and we're here to break down why everyone is buzzing about it. So what's the deal with Carnival Cruises and bacon? Well, it all started when passengers began noticing that their beloved crispy strips were mysteriously absent from the buffet. Passengers took to social media to express their shock and their outrage. Some were jokingly call it a, a bacon crisis, while others felt like, you know, they were personally betrayed. There have even been reports of complaints during the cruise with guests asking crew members, where's the bacon? Well, you know, it's clear this isn't just a minor menu change. It's a full on controversy. So now let's dig deeper into why Carnival made this head scratching decision. The company claims it's all about supply chain issues and rising cost of pork product, which could have influenced their decision. Carnival brand ambassador John Heal stated, like many companies in the hospitality sector, we're having some supply chain sourcing challenges and bacon is one item. We've notified our guests that we will serve bacon on an alternating day uh, schedule at Lido Breakfast Buffet, and our guests have been very understanding and cooperative. <laughs> really? Have they? They then applied the change would be temporary, but during his July 11 video, Heald confirmed that bacon was still being served in the Lido buffet on an every other day basis. Bacon is served every other day from Lido, Heald shared. I'll see what we can do about getting that back. So far, this has not happened. So whatever the reason, it's clear that bacon has increased in scarcity. So much so that when bacon is present on the buffet, it is now doled out by a crew member and it's not available as a free for all item. You know, it feels more like a prime rib station. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Some people like to load up a plate, you know, whether they eat it or not. And I'm very much on board to reduce food waste. And if that means we have to, you know, have food rationed out to us, so be it. Uh, the unintended downside though, is the delay in moving through the line, waiting for people to be served their little slices of goodness. Not all is lost though, as apparently there is bacon still available in the main dining room or, or whatever they're calling that place now uh, for breakfast and brunch. And bacon, it's also available, but tightly controlled at the Guy Fieri burger joint on the Lido. So it's not as bad as it could be. You don't have to give up bacon to be a cruiser. Prepare to be limited if you like to frequent the buffet. One passenger stated that they were gonna bring a can of tactical bacon on board to put on their plate so they could show it off uh, during the non-bacon days. Huh, you know, maybe there's a black market niche there. You know, deals struck in the shadows in the stacks, you know, of the in the dark of night, you know, trading trading bacon. But anyway, the internet's loaded with memes and tweets showcasing just how far folks will go for their breakfast staple. It became a rallying cry for bacon lovers everywhere. So what does all this mean for Carnival Cruises? Well, it's clear that bacon is more than just a food item. It's a cultural icon. The public reaction has been intense and it raises questions about how cruise lines will approach dining in the future. Will they rethink the bacon limitation? Only time will tell. But for now, it looks like bacon lovers will need to find alternative ways to get their fix while hitting the buffet every other day. Well, what do you think about this bacon cutback? Are you team bacon or do you support the limiting changes? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more cruise content. So we'll see you next time. For me, I'm gonna go find me some bacon.